Do not doubt it, the U.S. economy is top in the world despite significant global shifts and health crisis. Here is how. While the global economy has faced significant challenges in recovering from the pandemic, the United States has demonstrated remarkable economic resilience. With a rapidly expanding economy, robust labor market, and decreasing inflation, the U.S. has outperformed its European and other international counterparts. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, please kindly support this channel by clicking on the like and subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. In the fourth quarter of 2023, the U.S. GDP grew by 3.3%, far exceeding economists' expectations of 2%, and achieved an annual growth rate of 2.5%, surpassing all other advanced economies and maintaining its momentum into 2024. Ryan Sweet, chief U.S. economist at Oxford Economics, highlights that the U.S. economy is performing significantly better than other countries, attributing this to various factors. One crucial factor was the substantial financial stimulus provided during the pandemic. In March 2020, Congress passed a $2.2 trillion economic stimulus bill, followed by additional legislation to support small businesses and keep workers employed. This historic infusion of federal funds, totaling approximately $5 trillion, helped sustain consumer spending, which is critical as it represents 70% of economic activity. The stimulus provided Americans with extra savings that they could utilize when needed, supporting ongoing economic activity despite high inflation. The magnitude of the U.S. stimulus dwarfed that of other countries even though nations like Japan, Germany, and Canada also implemented significant measures. European countries benefiting from more robust social safety nets adapted existing programs rather than dramatically increasing spending, but this approach could not match the scale of the U.S. response. The flexibility of the U.S. labor market has also been a key factor. Despite high inflation, the U.S. maintained a strong jobs market, with unemployment rates below 4% since February 2022, and real wages have risen, particularly for low-income households. The U.S. also saw a productivity spike in 2023, the highest in years. Julia Pollack, chief economist at ZipRecruiter, notes that the U.S. labor market's flexibility allowed companies to quickly reduce workforces at the pandemic's onset, enabling them to adapt and invest in new technologies. This shift has made industries like hospitality more efficient, reducing their dependency on personnel and benefiting long-term economic health. Additionally, the U.S. benefits from its ability to replenish its labor market through immigration, counteracting the demographic challenges posed by the retiring baby boomer generation. This stands in contrast to the European approach where governments paid companies to retain workers during lockdowns, resulting in less severe short-term unemployment but potentially less flexibility and adaptation in the long run. Energy independence has further strengthened the U.S. economy. As a net energy exporter, the U.S. was less impacted by the energy price shocks following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Europe, heavily reliant on energy imports, particularly from Russia, faced significant inflationary pressures and productivity losses, particularly in manufacturing hubs like Germany. In contrast, the U.S. saw a much smaller increase in energy prices, which helped moderate inflation more effectively than in Europe. U.S. economic growth in the last quarter of 2023 driven by strong consumer spending exceeded forecasts significantly. While economists predicted a slowdown to a 1.5% annualized GDP growth rate, the U.S. achieved 3.3%, showcasing the economy's resilience. This performance is even more impressive compared to other advanced economies, such as the Eurozone and the U.K., which saw minimal or negative growth rates. A significant contributor to this robust economic performance was the substantial pandemic stimulus, second only to Singapore when measured as a percentage of GDP. The nearly $5 trillion directed to households through various measures created a substantial savings buffer, which fueled consumer spending once the economy reopened. This spending momentum, although gradually declining, remains a key driver of economic activity. Energy prices have also played a critical role. The U.S., being less dependent on energy imports than Europe, experienced lower inflationary pressures from the energy price hikes following the Ukraine conflict. This has helped the U.S. maintain a more stable economic environment compared to Europe, which faced severe inflationary impacts due to its higher energy dependence. Looking forward, while some predict that the U.S. high growth rates may not sustain, the consistent unpredictability of recent economic trends suggests that the U.S. economy could continue to defy expectations. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.